MG Rob back with you. Today we're working on Captain Oblivious's MGA. And we're going to try to give it get it running first start on the engine. So we already confirmed that we got spark. Got my oil pressure gauge here, external oil pressure gauge here. Filled the block up with oil and the hoses. Cranked it over until I got oil pressure without the plugs in place and had shown about 60, 65 pounds oil pressure cranking. So that looks really good. Put some gas in it and uh, primed the fuel system. No leaks till we got up to the carbs. He had thrown the carbs on that I had taken off my car a while back. And evidently my memory didn't serve me very well because I had stole some parts out of them things that I forgot I stole. The needles are missing and the needles and seats were missing too. So yeah, they were puking gas everywhere. So now we're uh, just searching around, trying to come up with all the bits and pieces out of the, what I have laying around to, to get it all together. All right, so I found some bits and pieces. Got the cars back in place. Confirmed that uh, there's no more leaks. And now these are HIF4s, which I used to run on my car. And this engine is 30 over balanced. Um, bigger cam, I can't remember the cam number right now. D D9, I think it is and um, ported head. So I've got a set of AAA needles to put in them for now. They may end up being a little rich, uh, but for initial startup, I'd rather be a touch rich than lean. All right, so now I got the needles in. I think I got everything ready. We're gonna give it, our, give it a try for our first start ever on this. Sugar drive in the wrong place. Do that once in a while. Keep it up over 1800 RPMs for about uh, 20 minutes to make sure that the cam's bedded in properly. If you don't have it at 1800 RPMs or higher, then the uh, lifters aren't spinning in the bores, and then you won't get a good pattern on the cam and you can wipe the cam during initial break in. All 
right, so we've gotten about 10, 12 minutes of runtime so far, and we found a little oil leak from uh, oil fitting. It wasn't tight enough on the uh, oil line there. Now, if you can see what I was doing, I have oil pressure gauge here. So I'm watching oil pressure the whole time. And I've got my infrared thermometer that I'm always checking the thermostat housing to see where it's running at all times. And I can also check uh, the exhaust manifold here to see if there's a big variance from front to rear. Then I can richen, or richen up one of the carbs or whatever if I need to. Um, and then we also, in this case, since this whole car was wired from scratch, we had this set up on the battery to see if it was charging and it was charging just fine. So that's good. So once you see a leak, just shut down, address the problem, then start back up, bring it back up to RPMs. You never want to just let it idle when you first start one of these things. You can wipe the cam pretty quickly. So now we can start it up and continue breaking it in. We got about 18 minutes in on it. So I had to go ahead and bring it down to idle. Can't really hear the cam in it. Um, but for those that don't remember or haven't been tuned in before, this is actually an 1800 of a 78B. So it's got the low compression head on it, but we got the early high compression pistons on, in it. So it should be sitting about 9.1, 9.2 to 1. And uh, it's got my old 17 pound flywheel on it from what I used to run in my car. And it's so it's fairly responsive. So I've got some minor tuning to do to it. But looking pretty good for now. And it's only holding about 160 degrees, which is really surprising. Um, car ought to give pretty decent performance. Since it is an MGA that no heater, cut down windshield, and nothing extra on it. Alright, so now I've set the timing. It's about 33 degrees total timing. Got it sitting there running at about 950 RPM roughly. Holding about 50 pounds oil pressure at idle. Got the carburetor pretty close. Sounds pretty good. Pretty good enough for him to go put the miles on it. 